What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Albert here. Y'all can see right there we have Dress 2019 Kona Blue EcoBoost Mustang and we have the RTR style light grill. Uh, this was kind of difficult to install just because the wiring, there was no instructions that came with it. But uh, I want to thank S550 Parts for this because they sponsored the video. Go check out their page. I will post a link in the description to their website. They have a variety of items from spoilers to grills to chin spoilers to decals. Go check them out guys. Their prices are phenomenal because go to American Muscle or LMR. This right here, this grill is going to be around $800. Go check them out. It's $280, $279.99 and y'all can see the quality is really good. The lights was uh, the difficult part because you had to wire them up. But the quality, y'all can see right here, is really good. The plastic, nice. It's not textured, but it does look like OEM. All right, guys, these are pretty much going to be all the tools you will be needing for the installation. You're going to need, obviously, a jack and some jack stands or a ramp, a flathead screwdriver or push pin remover tool, a drill, 316 drill bit, Phillips screwdriver or drill bit, a ratchet, 8 millimeter socket, 7 millimeter socket, and a 5.5 millimeter socket. Step one for the installation will be you need to remove every single one of these pins. There's eight in total. After these, you're going to take off the radiator cover and you're going to move into some other push pins down here. But after this, we're going to jack this up and remove those. After the radiator cover has been removed, we have another eight bolts right here. That's for step two. Take those off. It's going to get this part loose. After all this has been removed, the next step is the easiest one. It's going to be jack up the car so we can access the bolts under the splitter. I think there's like around 8 to 10 of them. We remove those. First step for you guys after removing those pins over there. You're going to have to remove these pins right here under the wheel well so you can access the, the new tree bracket that they put on the 2018, 2019s. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. Um, it's just in order they updated the bracket so you won't have the problem of always breaking this right here on the bumper since that's a problem with Mustangs. That's so much easier once you remove those. You do it on the opposite side and then we'll move on to step four after that. All right guys, for step four after you have already removed these two bolts that are right here with the 10 millimeter wrench and you take off that Christmas tree, you're gonna wanna move on to the bottom of the splitter. All right guys, once all the other bolts are removed, you move on to the bottom one where you do have about eight to 12 bolts. Once those are gone, the bumper should just be able to be taken off with these. Mm -hmm. Just push it down. No, Mia, no. No, no, don't be eating that. Eat up. Hold on, dude. <laughs> Mia, that's. Yeah, yeah. You recording? Yes. All right, guys, so step five. Um, I guess we, we jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> uh, once those were gone, you just knock this Christmas tree out of the way, which is. Where is it? It's not right there. Oh, right there, my bad. It's down here. This is a new bracket I was talking about the Ford includes. Just push it down and after that the bumpers y'all saw just comes apart real easy. And then just we'll get to the grill. Alright, so before getting to the grill, you're gonna have to take off this right here, which is honestly I don't know what this is, but it's a piece of plastic. <laughs> it's a piece of plastic, you're gonna have to take this off in order for you to get to the bottom clips for the upper grill. And these clips are pretty uh sturdy. These clips are pretty sturdy, they're gonna be hard to get off. You have to work with the flathead screwdriver. Have to get under the clip, under the bracket, and what is it? Pull up. Yeah, just pry it up, and then the brackets will just start coming off. It's kind of hard to explain, but once you mess with it, you understand what I mean. So, if anybody in the video knows what this is called, uh, comments. I really don't know. Okay. Throw it away. No trash. No, I told him not to throw it this time. All right. So the reveal and the grill. Moment of truth. Put it right here to the picture. The next easy step, and it's gonna be the easiest step throughout the whole process, just clipping the new um, grill back inside the clips to its bracket. Yeah. 
All right, the good exciting part is gonna be wiring it up. And uh, that's the next step. Cancel that. <laughs> After this, we'll move on to a... Uh, rewind. Rewind. Just we'll start over. So after all the unbolting and bolting, the hardest part that took us probably about an hour to do was just the wiring. It is not so much that it's hard, but it's just figuring out which wires go where. And as far as that we, that we know of, it's already fixed. We have, uh, what is it? The gray is, is gonna be the ground, so it's gonna go gray with gray. And then we have, which one else? Okay, so, let's see. The ground wire is going to be this gray wire. The power wire is going to be brown and yellow. And then for the passenger side turn signal, which is the green wire on the kit harness, you're going to splice it into the yellow and purple wire on the factory wiring. All right, and pretty much goes the same thing over here. It's going to be the blue one, which is going to be your turning signal wire from which, the harness. Which will be onto the blue wire. The blue looking wire. Right there, and that's pretty much gonna take care of that. Um, there's a Mustang over there. So, again, unbolt, bolt. Once everything is wired up, make sure that you check out the lights are working as well as your turning signals because you don't want to bolt everything back on and then find out that none of it works and you're gonna have to redo everything. So, just a quick recap you unbolt the radiator cover and all these pins that are here. Then you move on to the wheel well, take all those off, you're going to reach in somewhere right here where you're going to meet up with that uh, Christmas tree uh, bracket that holds these, these two things right here, the bumper to this fender. Once that's off, you're going to move on down there, take, remove all the pins from under the pan that goes to the splitter and the bumper, and then the whole bumper comes off, remove the grill, put the grill back on. Do the wiring and just do the same thing again. Reverse everything and that's how you're going to reinstall the bumper again. And it's going to be working. And that was just easier said than done. But uh, thanks to this guy, my sister's boyfriend. He's a certified YouTube mechanic. <laughs> so we got it done. I don't think I could have done it, got it done by myself. So thanks to this guy. And for moral support, we have Drywell and my sister Lizette and Mia. Mira support dog.